joining us on uh, one of the two groggiest days of the year here in Hollywood. The day after the Emmys were handed out in downtown Los Angeles. I had a late night. Guillermo had a late night. Yeah. It's a bit of a blur, but I think I'm dating Pete Davidson now. It's... <laughs> Big winners last night, if you didn't watch the show, were Succession, Ted Lasso, The White Lotus, and Squid Game. I feel like The White Lotus and Squid Game came out in 2018, right? Is it like 11 years? <laughs> As um, they all are nowadays, this was the lowest rated Emmy show ever. Only 5.92 million people watched the show on NBC, but that's not really the whole story. It's not fair. It was also on Peacock, so when you add in the people who streamed it there, it's still 5.92 million people. <laughs> It was, um, but the important thing is a fun night. I'll give you a little behind the scenes, if you like, like Regis used to. So last night, to start the show, they had a big dance number. Dancers came out and uh, danced to all these TV theme songs. Now, I'm sitting at a table right next to the stage with Amanda Seyfried and her husband, Tom, Chris O'Donnell and his daughter, uh, the guy from The Bear, Jeremy Allen White, and his wife, Addison, also from The Bear, uh, Io Edabiri and her friend, and Andrew Garfield and his friend. It was a good table, so the dancing starts and the dancers are dancing around us to the theme songs from my friends and the Brady Bunch and whatnot, and then Game of Thrones. These dancers come out with spears and they're banging the spears around, and about halfway through the dance, the tip of one of the spears comes flying off the handle straight at us, at our table. <laughs> and out of nowhere, and I swear to God this happened, Andrew Garfield, lunges forward and snatches it <laughs> out of the air, like Spider-Man. Like, <laughs> like he might be really Spider-Man. Just as Spider-Man would have done were he in an undercover situation. His shirt came open, my wife almost had to be resuscitated. <laughs> it's, it was incredible, and at the end of the night, um, uh, the tip of this, this is the spear, I grabbed it off the table. <laughs> And, uh, and, well, here I am with the superhero who saved our lives. So thank you, Andrew Garfield. With great power comes great reflexes. And then uh, I got a heads up about this. I'm not sure if the director of the show was trying to be funny, but Oprah was presenting an award and talking about how unlikely it is to win an Emmy. And guess who used, they used to illustrate that unlikelihood? There are eight billion people on this planet but only 25 Emmys to be given out tonight. So your chances of winning, 300 million to one. So how do you win one? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. And by the way, I want to say, my own camera guys worked that show last night. <laughs> and I will find out which one of you betrayed me. Uh, John Oliver beat us for the, like the 485th time in a row, and congratulations to John. But I'll tell you something, even though we didn't win, it was an honor just to get COVID from those who did win last night. <laughs> hey, speaking of losers, Donald Trump, uh, there's another new book about Donald Trump, this one by Maggie Haberman of the New York Times. After Trump realized the election was over, he told his staff his plan, which was, I'm just not gonna leave the White House. It was like when you try to tell a five-year-old it's time to leave Disneyland. He's just like, no, I'm not going. <laughs> Fortunately, the Oval Office is uh, oval, so you can't really pile furniture up against the door. <laughs> but how would he see that work? Would he and Joe Biden be roommates? I mean, <laughs> on one hand, it's treason. On the other hand, great idea for a comedy show, really. <laughs> Trump had an interesting weekend. He took an unannounced trip to Washington that fueled all sorts of speculation online. He flew there in golf shoes and a trench coat and then was seen driving around his golf course with no golf clubs on the <laughs> cart. And then he had some kind of an on-course meeting with um, a bunch of guys, most of whom we don't know. Whatever it was, it must not have been too important because uh, Eric was there. <laughs> you can see he's riding up front with Daddy like a big boy, but... Team Trump and the Department of Justice appear to have found some common ground over the so-called special master who will be tasked with going through the classified documents Trump was storing at Mar-a-Lago. The Justice Department said it was open to accepting one of Trump's two proposed candidates for special master, which surprised everyone. Even Trump was like, oh, re what? <laughs> okay. <laughs> judge Raymond Deary is a federal, federal district court judge from Brooklyn. He got the green light, which, let me tell you how this goes from here. 
Guillermo, mark this down, because I want yeah, I want all of you to be a uh, witness to this. Today is September 13th, 2022. Donald Trump just picked the guy who will decide whether or not or to what extent crimes have been committed. The Justice Department said, OK, we accept this guy, Judge Deary, the special master. He will look at the evidence, uh, which is pretty clear cut. He will agree with the FBI, give them all the documents. And once he does, Trump will call him a puppet controlled by the Democrats. That's <laughs> there's the that's the future. There you go. That's. And we will put a, a time and date stamp on this and keep it standing by for when that happens, which it will. The whole thing's a distraction. It doesn't matter what's in the document. Just taking them out of the White House is a crime under the Espionage and Presidential Records Act. And they still don't know whether Trump returned all the documents he took, which, of course, he didn't. It's like being unsure if Cookie Monster ate all the cookies. He eats all the cookies. <laughs> There's nothing but crumbs left. And these documents, they might not be exclusively at his golf course in Florida. Three days after the FBI demanded all the files, uh, there's video of Trump, which appears to show boxes like the ones the FBI found at Mar-a-Lago being loaded onto a private plane uh, taken to his other home in Bedminster, New Jersey. What's for dinner tonight? Steak? Good. Plenty of ketchup. And make sure the stewardess with the big ones brings it to me. Get all these boxes of top secret government documents on the plane. I'm going to bury them on the first hole next to Ivana. Chop, chop. Yes, sir. What's up with him? Eric tried to hug him again. He's pissed. Can I help you with that? Oh, better not. These have been in the toilet. Well, let's consider. At this point, I don't know. Donald Trump, I'm sure some part of him wishes. He was back in show business, back on The Apprentice, walking out at the Emmys and doing this. Green Acres is the place to be. Farm living is the life for me. All right, back to the Emmys. You know, we, that would have been great this year. I think the Academy left out an important category at the Emmys. You know, politics are all over TV nowadays, and tonight, we are going to honor some of our most talented politicians by presenting the Emmy for outstanding performance in a political ad. These are real candidates from real ads, and the nominees are Kay Ivey. Stop her, my great grandmother will shoot. Well, I pass concealed carry for Alabamians to arm themselves without government interference. That way, you don't know who's got what in their purse. Lipstick, an iPhone, or maybe a little Smith and Wesson 38. Stan Pulliam, Stan's phobia. I'm Stan Pulliam, the same Stan Pulliam who'll lead the fight to not allow transgender athletes to compete in girls sports. Because my girls shouldn't have to play against boys. Oh. Ryan Flowers, driving this crazy. The wall works, I'm sorry. When elected to Congress, we will put legislature in place to finish the wall that President Trump started because a against what the Democrats are saying, the wall works. Ted Edwards, kiss me, baby, no more times. You've seen slick politicians who shake hands and kiss babies. Ted Edwards isn't one of them. I'm Ted Edwards, and I approve this message. I'll shake your hand, but I don't kiss babies. <laughs> J.R. Majewski, anti-nouns. You're going to win. People love this guy. He's great. My name is J.R. Majewski, and my pronouns are patriot and ass kicker. <laughs> and Shri Tanador, Shri's company. Hi, I'm Shri. Shri Tanador. Scientist, state representative. What was that? It's the voice from the commercial. How was it, Dave? He took on Republicans to protect the right to vote for all Michiganders. Again? Vote for Shri. Now, these performances truly represent the worst of the best of the worst. The best of the worst. Something in the Emmy for outstanding performance in a political ad goes to... Shri Tanadar! Accepting the award from his home in Detroit, Michigan State Representative Shri Tanadar. Hello, Shri, congratulations on winning your primary. Thank you, thank you, Jimmy, for this Jimmy Emmy. 
Well, it is my pleasure indeed to both present you at this Emmy and to meet you. You won your primary, I know? Yes, I did. How bad an actor was the guy you beat? <laughs> I have to be very bad because I have no acting skills. <laughs> Or well, you might not have skills, but you got a trophy, and that's all that matters, Sri. So thank you for joining us, and congratulations on your uh, on your Emmy. Thank you, thank you so much. All right, good luck in November. <laughs> all right, it's time now for. <laughs> it's a real guy. Um... <laughs> Time for what has become a beloved Emmy tradition. Every year we send our top entertainment reporter to chat with the winners as only he can. That reporter is Guillermo. And how do you like to do it, Guillermo? Back to back. That's right. Here's Guillermo back to back with the winners at the Emmys. I'm here with Michael Keaton. He's yeah. an Emmy winner. Thank you very do, much. Do you feel bad for beating those people? Uh, not at all. Not at all? No, how do you feel? Uh, I, How I do you feel, feel about me being this? I feel empathy. <laughs> you you were great. Thank you sing you. to everybody mm -hmm. and everything. You have a great voice. It's one of those things that if I can't talk, I've got to sing. Yes. But you didn't sing to me, to Guillermo. Do you want to sing to me now? Guillermo, I've had the perfect song. Back to back, belly to belly, belly. on the John, on the Mr. Kimmel show. How's that? Uh, yes. Almost, you almost make a mistake. I almost made a mistake <laughs> on the Jimmy Kimmel show. <laughs> Johnny Carson is dead. Johnny Carson is very dead. <laughs> say Guillermo with Australian accent. Guillermo. Gu How do you say? Guillermo. 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 Yeah. Can you scratch my back with it? Where? My back. Right your back? The, yeah, yeah, want, right what, in the you middle. You want me to scratch your back with a wing? Yeah, yeah, right in the middle. <laughs> oh my god, this is so awesome. This is great, right? I got it? Yeah, I you got, got it. it. Are you, Amazing. Have you have you monkey pot shot yet? <laughs> Would you like a booster? <laughs> sure. Here. Are you giving me a shot? Yeah. Okay. All right, so open. Okay, this is tequila. How, uh, uh. <laughs> how do you like it? No, no, no. Tequila will kill anything. Okay, I feel everything disinfecting everything <laughs> inside. Yes. Do you guys want to do a shot of tequila to celebrate you, Emmy? Can you just have some of the tequila? Yeah, sure. Why not? Yeah. All right, hold on. I love it. This is called American hospitality. Wow. Oh, wow. Wow. Yeah, How do you is. say cheers in Korea? Gumbe. 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 Wow. 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 <laughs> do you want to? Uh, <laughs> this is real. Wow. Yeah, this is wow. Would well, you like a, a cup of tea? Yeah, I'd have a cup of tea. You got any? Yes, for you. No, you can sit right there. I will oh, serve okay. it for you. OK. All right. Well, thank you very much. T stands for tequila. That's what I'm talking about. Yes, sir. That's real tea. Oh, you forgot to put your pinky. Oh, I'm so sorry. Cheers. Cheers. To the queen. Ah, to the queen. <laughs> Were you like a spot of tea? Sorry, I just... <laughs> How do you say <laughs> Exactly like that. It was like Mary Poppins descended with an umbrella. R yeah. Right away... How do you say it? Right away, governor? Right... <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we, we do say right away, governor. All right. Thank you very much. What tea is this, Guillermo? Ah, uh, this is... Uh, what the... <laughs> tea stands for what? Tequila, <laughs> right? Yeah, this is uh, English breakfast tequila, right? Yeah. Cheers. No better Cheers. way to start the day. Yeah. Salute. An all great tequila. Oh, man. I think that's what the Queen had in the morning. <laughs> <laughs> May she rest in peace. May she rest in peace. <laughs> Can we just pour one out for the Queen? Yeah, Mum. Would you like to thank the polar bear who died so you can be here tonight? I'm a walking Coca-Cola Christmas commercial. <laughs> Were you like some snacks? You know, like, I had no shirt on, so I've been avoiding, like, you know, Oreos and shit like that, so it's looking real appetizing. And speaking of no shirt, let me show you something. Please. Whoa. Wait, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Whoa, these, hold on. Are, these are good shots. Right there. Hell yeah. Yeah, how do you blame yeah. me right here? You 
a 10 out of the f***ing 10, bro. I'm not even f***ing stuck. When I look at this man, I'm like, this is somebody who's and that's what I respect about you. I can get it, right? Uh, bro, of course, bro, of course you can get it, yeah. <laughs> I want you to take this quiz, okay? Okay. From BuzzFeed. Oh. And they, and Which they... member of the Roy family from Succession are you? Uh, All right. Pick a vice. Uh, no, Drugs. Okay. Pick a Hogwarts house. Have a pop. Okay. Pick a Muppet. Uh, animal. animal. Okay. Pick a pick game. A game. Monopoly. No. Checkers. Tom. You, Tom. It's total <laughs> bull. Quite <laughs> such a waste of time and energy <laughs> coming here and doing this piece of <laughs> I can't tell you. Anyway, apart from I'm delighted to be here. Thank you. We're here with the cast of Ted Lassen. Congratulations, guys. Yay. 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 This is my interview back to back. So uh, you guys want tea? Yeah. Yes. Yes. I'm going to give you tea, no, OK? You very much. Tea for everybody? No, this is Mexican tea. <laughs> Mexican tea. Mexican tea. 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 Hey, sir, yeah, the coach. Oh. Hey, how are you? Ready? Thank you, sir. Thank you. So, cheers, everybody. Cheers. Yeah. 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 How do you say cheers in England? Cheers. Yeah. 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 Okay. Yeah. Oh, that's, oh, that's, that's how you say cheers in England. All right, thank you, Guillermo. Yeah. 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 Yeah.